For part A of your summative assessment task two, you are going to practice how to assess children and then out of the assessment, see where the problems and gaps are so that you can create activities to help them with those gaps. So the first thing that you will be doing is to create your own checklist or questionnaire. So in your material, there's examples of checklists and questionnaires. But what I want you to do is for every domain of development, so the five domains of development, you will take each domain and choose three things to assess under each domain. So for example, physical development, can they throw a ball? Can they catch a ball? Please be specific. Is it a big ball? Is it a small ball? And this will depend on what age group you choose. So under each domain, you will choose three things to assess. So for example, under language development, you can assess, can they say their, their name and surname? Do they know animal sounds? So those type of things, but you need to be specific. How many animal sounds? Um, and then you can choose, is it going to be a questionnaire or a checklist? So either you can say, can they count to 10? Yes or no. Or you will say, can they count to 10? And then write how, how much did they count? Where did they struggle? Either way, there must always be a space for comments. So you will have to design a questionnaire or a checklist that includes all five of the domains with three things under each domain to assess. For question two of part A, you will have to take the questionnaire or checklist that you created and you will have to copy it 10 times. So you must either write it out 10 times or if you have a way to copy it, you can copy it or print it. The 10 questionnaires will then have to be filled in for 10 different children. So you will have to think about 10 children in that age group that you know or that is in your class and then fill that in for the 10 children. So you will send me pictures of 10 questionnaires that are all filled in each questionnaire for a different child. For question three, you will take the filled in questionnaires and you will identify the gaps. So you will take all 10 questionnaires and you will look at where that the children struggle most. So let's say six out of the 10 children struggled with physical development then that will be a developmental gap for the group because a lot of children struggled with that. So that's something that you can identify that you need to work on in your activities. In question four, you will only take one of the 10 children and see where that specific child's gaps are. So where did that one child struggle? And then you will write where that one child's developmental gaps are. So if the child struggled specifically with language development, for example, you will say that they struggle with language development and say, why did they struggle with language development? In the last question, question five, you will compare the needs of the group that you've done in question three and the needs of the one child that you've done in question four. And you will say, is the needs the same? Is it something that you can address together? So let's say the group struggled with physical development and the one child struggled with physical development, which means you can work on that need together. But if the one child has a different need than what the group has, then that's something you would have to work individually on with the child. So you will have to write a paragraph on where the needs are that we can work together as a group in and what needs you would have to address with the one child specifically. If you're still unsure about anything, don't hesitate to ask me or send me a message.